my name is Adam Bessa, and I'm here for the film uh, Harqa, uh, directed by Lutfi Nathan. You know, when you read a script and it's powerful, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. And this one was very much like this. You know, I think Lutfi did a great, great job. He comes from documentary, and I could feel in his film that it was really, really rich in terms of like work and digestion we can say and the arc of the character was beautiful and um, the fact that he's American and you know he's not from Tunisia I think he had this vision like this third eye which is very interesting you know like an objective vision about the subject which was very interesting for me who's Tunisian and French so to see that and you know, not to fall into the political aspect all the time, but to see more the human side of it. I think that was very, very appealing and very interesting. And um, when I read the script and then I met Lotfi and I loved his vision. Mm -hmm. I loved uh, his vision, I loved his passion, I loved his way of seeing the work. So I was really excited to work with him. Harqa is the story about a, a young Tunisian guy who's uh, struggling to 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 make both end meet yeah exactly so that's uh, really a portrayal of a certain tunisia 10 years after the the arab spring and uh, we follow this guy who smuggles gasoline and um, everything that happens to him and how the the trap uh you know slowly close on him you know it's kind of a parable of uh, someone who cannot really fit in in a world you know, you can relate it maybe to a character like Taxi Driver maybe a little bit. You know, these kind of people who try, make an effort, try to fit in. But at some point, you don't know if that's their mental condition, their higher sensitivity to the, you know, the toughness of the world. Sometimes you got to go through. But something goes wrong and then they suddenly decide they abandon, you know, the ship. So that's that's it. I've never done a film in Tunisia, and for me it was really, really important, and I didn't want to do something, you know, like that. I really wanted to be a special project. Yeah, you feel like there are some people that they have no voice, you know, and really, like, when you feel like you can be their voice, it's huge responsibility, huge. Like, you don't want to, like, you don't want to, like, don't, don't, don't do it right. You know, you want to be really, really honest. Like, you have to go through a process, even with yourself, living in a, you know, like a modern world. Like, there are some things, like, you got to work on to, to really have to find this honesty about these guys and try not to make it about yourself, but about a whole generation. So that was, yeah, that was very sometimes scary for me. I was very hard on myself, like, is it enough? And Lutfi was there to you know, to guide me through that process. But, I, yeah, the huge responsibility, of course. And not only for Tunisian, for all the people who, you know, when you live something hard, a trauma or anything, you know, um, in your life, when you've been through it, then when someone portrays it in a film, you're very demanding as an audience mm -hmm. on this subject, on this topic, because you've been through it, you know, and so you... The thing you would like from the performer or the artist who shows you, at least is you feel that he gave 100%, you know, to to project what it is exactly, you know, to, to show you what it is, you know, and not be artificial on the way, you know, they, they, they treat the subject. I was shooting in Prague, so we worked for three months before on the script, on the character, on the... On uh, on the character, really digging about the story, and then after that, I went to Tunis. I uh, on this film, I really went method, like never before, because I felt like it was the the right project to to had to be done like that. I mean, for me, so I I spent three weeks in Tunisia by myself. I really needed to under because he's very alone, a lonely character. And that's something that was very far from me because I'm a pretty social person and I like to... Uh, the, being alone all the time, is, it was mystery for me. I didn't know how how a person, why a person is like that. It was really mystery. I had to understand why. Is it a choice? Is it 
is it is it not a choice is it life that forces you sometimes to be lonely I, don't, i i need to understand that so i really spent three weeks by myself alone no no going out of my room only and uh, yeah and then two weeks on location in sidi bouzid was another place and then i spent time with the smugglers i went to libya with them and i came back and, and that crazy stuff that lotfi introduced me to some guys there local hasuna who was in a film wonderful guy that facilitated the, the, the shooting for us and he introduced me to this guys that enabled me to really like put another layer and another layer to the character and then we started working with Lutfi rehearsing with my sisters and and then really digging on the final touch of the character mm -hmm. really so it was yeah it was a long and rich process to, to, to try to achieve that it's very encouraging for the for the future you know that proves you that all this work that we talked previously and uh, all these moments of doubt when you say maybe I'm maybe I was just in my head maybe uh, nobody's going to perceive that maybe it's you know maybe it's it's I don't know maybe I'm I'm just imagining it and to make it you know to to realize that people are touched and people see it and people see the details and and you know encourage you with a price you know it's 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 great it's very encouraging for the rest for the future I think I've learned in um in maybe bigger Hollywood films um the fact of being maybe a little bit independent weirdly but you have to take care of your own stuff there's so many things going on in terms of technical aspects and so many that usually the goal of technical things to reach is so high that every department has really his mission to achieve and acting is the same you know like you're thrown in that and you're like okay do your stuff that's why we take you you know how to act you know act so you really almost have to take care of your own self and and the risks you take and everything so you you're almost like responsible for your department in a way and you see the work of others who is tremendous so for me there's a form of like learning cinema and and, and learning the um, what i would say uh the if efficiency the efficiency goes straight to the point and you have to do that so do it you know everybody has something very hard to achieve so do it you know well the other is more of a research more of an experiment like more of a that's the terrain where you can explore many things that you don't have time to do in others you know and that's the the quality of it because you can find things and i think when you come from example from a blockbuster film to an author sometimes in the author film maybe have this tendency to linger on details that maybe are, and you have this tendency your brain is made to be efficient so you think of the audience you think of you think of people you're always related to normality in a way you know like i always think you know let's say a nurse she has a long day of work it's eight. she comes home what what she want to watch you know like, i don't want to like you know take a lot of time from her like i want something that she can you know be re like she can she can watch like that it's not easy to it's not complicated to 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 come in the film she can understand it but i want to give quality i want to give depth to that so how how, how do i achieve that and coming from the author it's the same when you arrive in blockbuster sometimes you have this tendency to maybe go quickly on details but when you arrive from author you dig more so you can add details that are very um, make the film i think more special more less um, more unique less of a film between many films you know i think that's what you can add mm -hmm. coming from author you have this uh, obsession of making roles and details very real and very authentic so you try to bring even an extraordinary alien story something very authentic mm -hmm. and i think when you do that it's great because it becomes it becomes better I, that's my point of view i think i'm very happy you know like for tunisian we heard about saudi arabia like we grew up with it and the image we had uh, to see this country evolve like that in this way and to you know to see everything that is going on we're thrilled you know it's more opportunity for the arab world to you know to show the world what you know what are, what are the, our stories and you know so many things to tell